What's going on everybody? So today's a new day and a new day to test the product. So what I have here is one of my other cars. I'm going to be testing my products on this car. As you guys seen in my last video, this on the Charger. Now it's the Infinity Plan. Then I'm going to do the Apollo. So yeah, first product we have again, wireless car wash. I'm going to be spraying some around here and then wiping. You guys should probably be able to see the line because I haven't washed this car in a while. A lot longer than the Charger. So uh, yeah, you guys should be able to see the difference. So let's get started. I'm gonna spray some on. Throw it together like a fiber. It's dirty. Good. And yeah, you guys can see a big difference. Just like a, a little line going where I didn't wipe. That's just with the water was car wash. I would show you guys the dirt, but there's already a little bit of dirt on it, but yeah. So, obviously, again, a success, two out of two. So, let's move on to the next product. Right, so, got the second part here, uh, the engine degreaser. So, while I'm, before I'm explaining stuff, I'm gonna spray it on to let it soak for a little bit. So basically, uh, you guys see the last one, it made a big difference with the charger. So now we're gonna go ahead and see if it makes a difference on the Infinity. And you guys kind of see, this hasn't been cleaned in a while. So there are like a lot of deeper grease and dirt things on it. So I sprayed this half and I'm gonna be wiping this down. So hopefully we'll be able to see a side-by-side -side difference again. So here we go. There we go, you guys can even kind of see a little line right there, but obviously this side is a lot cleaner than this. You guys can even see on the infinity symbol a little bit. I can obviously go back in and get some of the cruisy stuff, but the line right there from just simply wiping it and down there, you guys can see. But uh, yeah, I would say test number two for the engine degreaser is also a success. Uh, if we want to the next product. What's going on guys? So now we got the next product, the uh, wheel and tire cleaner. So I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying that. Oh, gee, this should be a good comparison because this now uh, I want to tell you guys for this product it has acid in it so you want to be careful not to like breathe it in or a lot of it in and you do not want to use it on chrome wheels and there's another kind of wheels I believe it's uh, I'm not going to guess but I have I have the wheels you're not supposed to use it on uh, but yeah you guys can see already before I can wipe it it's starting to kind of take some so we're gonna go ahead and see what it do. The tire two. Oh, sheesh! This was like a brand new one. That, shoot. but as you guys can see, there's a big difference, especially like right here. You guys can see the little line. I would say the wheel and tire cleaner, two out of two, is a success. And I got one more test for it to go. So let's see how on, everybody. So, uh, last time I made the video, it was kind of not as good as it could have been because I was in the still the, the bay while I was testing the Kruger wax, so you couldn't really get the sunlight on it to see the difference. So, I brought this out, I dried it off in a little section that I'm going to be doing this on. So, let's see how it works. All right. too much kind of see the line get a it's hard to show on camera but you kind of have to just be like at the right angle you kind of can see the line going but another major difference that we noticed was you run your finger across this it feels a lot smoother you go where I didn't do it it's like a lot harder and 
I'm applying the same exact pressure on both sides. But yeah, it's a lot smoother. It's kind of really hard to show on camera just because of the angle, but uh, you can see a, a difference in it and you can have like a feel the difference and see that it works. So yeah, I would say that this is two out of two. This is a success. Uh, for the last part, we got the uh, tire gel. Now what I'm gonna do is spray all around the tire. This is spraying really weird. But uh, yeah, then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this just to kind of like get it a full coat around the whole tire. Now what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna rub too hard. Like I just did, as an example, uh, when you rub too hard, you kind of wipe the material off. You just wanna rub it gently. Uh, yeah, kind of let it soak a little bit. And the difference. Uh, all the other tires are wet, so you can not really get a really good comparison. But this tire is a lot shinier now after I put the product on than it was before. So I would say this one is also a success. All right, guys. So we got another uh, little project thing, a little uh, demonstration. So I'm going to be using the Waters Car Wash, and right here, Keith's charger. He said he has burn proof, which is not good. So we're going to see if the Waters Car Wash. Oh. I think I spotted it. Is this right here? This that is, is this the culprit? Th that is that's, that's the, the culprit. culprit. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and uh spray a little of this out just to make sure it's all waterless car wash. And we're gonna go ahead and spray a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Get the microfiber. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a clean microfiber just to see. Who got that? No new. The uh brand new microfiber so we're gonna go ahead light this off kind of have to get in there a little bit but nonetheless leaves an optimal shine at the end you you said there was burp going here bro where at? where at bro i don't see no i don't see none bro I don't see no bird poop, bro. I don't know. It's quality product, bro. That's 10 out of 10 yeah, product, bro. Come cops, son. <laughs>